Hi, my name is Heather Manzi, and I'm a hydrologic technician with the USGS office in Truckee, California. I would like to take a few minutes to talk about making readings and inspections for gauge sensors using SWAMI. For this screencast, we will look at the following sensors. Float tape, staff gauge, electronic tape gauge, or ETG, and maximum and minimum peak stage indicator clips. For this example, all information that we will be recording will be done in the sensor inspection task. We will begin by entering readings for a float tape. Start by clicking and highlighting float tape gauge sensor. You will notice for this sensor type you are not required to enter inspection information, which allows us to go directly to gauge readings. After clicking the readings button, you can enter gauge readings from your float tape gauge. This is essentially the recorder reading from the float driven recording system. You can manually enter the time by clicking the blank field next to time, or you can click on the time label to have the field automatically populated with the current time. Next, enter the gauge reading from your float tape gauge and the uncertainty of your reading. After entering the time, float tape gauge reading and the uncertainty associated with your reading, click add to populate the reading. After the gauge readings have been added, click done to return to the sensor inspection screen. You can also click on the inspection button for a float tape gauge, which provides a large comment box to provide any descriptive field notes regarding the float tape gauge. For the staff and the ETG gauge, gauge readings are entered the same way as demonstrated in the float tape gauge section of the screencast. Similar to the float tape gauge sensor, the inspection window contains a large comment box to provide any descriptive field notes regarding the individual gauge. The next sensor we will review is the max min stage indicator. When clicking on the stage max min indicator, you will notice that the readings button is not active. For this particular sensor type, all inspection information, including the max and min clip readings, will be recorded on the inspection page, and the readings button will remain disabled since instantaneous readings for this type of sensor are not allowed. In the max min gauge inspection page, enter the maximum clip reading and the minimum clip reading. Enter the reading of the maximum stage indicator clip. Next, document the stage of the minimum clip reading. There is also a comment box to provide any additional information regarding the max min gauge inspection. In this comment box, you should document the math used to compute the max and min values by presenting the measured distance from the instrument shelf and the gauge height when this distance is measured. Be sure to note the conditions of the indicator clip. For example, if the indicator clip slipped, is missing, and that it was reset. After all the fields in the max min gauge inspection page have been populated, click done and return to the sensor inspection page. This concludes our demonstration of a float tape, staff, ETG, and max min indicator sensor inspections. For demonstrations of other sensor inspections, see some of the other screencast videos. If you have questions on the process of making sensor inspections, please contact the SWAMI Help Group at the email address shown or visit the FCIS webpage at the address shown.